Welcome to the Meeple Mentor YouTube channel. I'm Jared, and today we're doing an unboxing for a very special game that was really my favorite game of all time, or at least the top two games. Uh, this is from Alexander Pfister, Maracaibo. This is an, an expansion to that game that a lot of people have been waiting for, including myself. This is from Capstone Games. It's called The Uprising Expansion. The new solo mode is called Jacques or Jacques, <laughs> um, and now with extra thick player board ships, folding overlay. Uh, let me just read what it says here about it. Um, oh, here we go. It says includes the Flying Dutchman and Own Monument promos. So if you're looking for some promos, that's also in here. All right, the adventure continues. As if the life of a privateer in the Caribbean wasn't exciting enough, an ocean of new possibilities spreads out in front of you. New project cards expand the existing ones, adding new effects and variety to the game. You can optionally play a new campaign with new legacy tiles and a new story, which ties in with the original story, but can be played without having finished the original campaign. New home ports give players individual abilities. An optional scenario lets you help drive the colonial powers back out of the Caribbean again and other surprises. The Uprising contains a treasure trove of new modules and scenarios for you to mix and match as you like, from very simple to complex, with familiar and entirely new concepts. Storm clouds are gathering and the sea is getting rough. Do you have what it takes to overcome these obstacles and write a new chapter in history? I do. <laughs> I do. Here we go. Let's open it up. And that's why it's called an unboxing. Am I right? Ta-da! We've got some rules that look as thick as the original rule book. So man, this might need a separate tutorial video, which I might end up doing. Uh, we'll see. I do want to get it played probably before I do that with this all new content. So these are interesting new tiles that have kind of a a uh, unique shape that probably go in with the new boards in some fashion, or maybe you put something in it. I don't know, but there you go. Panama, Porto, interesting. So these look like they actually occupy some of the cool cities that you'll find on the map. And over here, these look like some new uh, legacy tiles because they're blue backgrounds and they look like they fit into the map of course some variability in the ending track probably right there um, and here's some more stuff about uh, well I don't know you put your tokens on it but certainly we've got some new things here that one to four players so these these both can be included as a random option for some of the random uh, scrolls that you'll find uh, you've got this one, which I think goes on your ship, which would be cool. We've got some new tokens down here. I'm thinking these are new permanent tokens that you can add to your ship, which will then allow you to more regularly have these icons uh, on you when you try to deliver or, or uh, you know, complete certain objectives like these event tiles. Um, so that would be a really good addition. Um, and then here we've got a new type of um, token here that allows you to have some special combat actions um, probably a little different than the base games but I don't know I don't know exactly we'll have to take a closer look later here's that first one that popped out tile L32 uh, here is an example of one of the new player boards these supposedly fold out or how is this How's this work here? Do I flip it this way? Oh, it go out like that. Okay, well, I uh, see, ah. So, I see what's going on. We're gonna punch all of this out, and then this is gonna fold on top of itself, so that as it's folded, you know, you can punch, you can drop stuff in here, right? You can drop that in to say, oh, I completed that. Right. And, and finally, an easier way to place those uh, those discs. Um, and these will now sit perfectly in there and not slide around. So you don't need to get any um, special overlays made because now with this board, 
you'll put them in and they'll just sit right there nicely. Really cool. Um, so this is cool. Look, you've got this uh, uh, one that pops out and I'm guessing you have to unlock or find one that you want to use. And I don't know, are they the same? Are they different? I, I mean, certainly this is going to add a lot of uh, replayability and look there's a little, little spot for your workers and all the stuff that goes up here I really like the look of this this is gonna be cool I like how this is going to uh, improve functionality of the game certainly certainly a little spots to hold your combat cube really cool um, we have a little sticker type stuff I don't know how or why these are needed yet We'll get there. We have a green bag for tracking the legacy tiles. Uh, I'm sure that you're going to be able to unlock during the campaign. And all these new good cards that you're going to include in the game as well. That's really cool. Uh, let's take a look at some of these together and see what, uh, what they look like. A lot more cards to sleeve. I'm kind of worried that all of this won't fit in the uh, the main box. I don't know. Well, I mean, I guess if I put these in and remove the originals, that probably would help. Um, <laughs> but we'll see. I don't know. We might have to still do um, uh, keep the box separate. Uh, I hope not, but we'll see. So we've got a new objective card here, the own monument. So you can put your own monument out there and uh, claim that for extra points and stuff. You've got a new appointed admiral type card where you can uh, a new career as it were what are these let's pull some of these out all right numbered cards and jacques so of course we know jacques to be the solo mode that is added in this particular version and we have this card the tobacco merchant you i don't know why it says you we've got some you cards Hmm. Okay. And some numbered cards. Maybe I should keep those here. Uh, where'd 193 go? 193. All right. Those probably go like that. I'm just going to put this guy in here. I'll put them in the back. I don't know. I don't want to get these two mixed up because they, they look like they're in order. And since there's a campaign in here, I don't want to screw up that. But uh, let's see, it looks like these are the new campaign cards. So without too much spoilers, you can see there's quite a bit, quite a bit to look at. There's the solo cards. Flipping through these for you. Okay. And some new standard cards to be added in, I think, probably. Hmm. Very cool. So I think the, uh, yeah, the U is just Uprising for Uprising expansion, honestly. Um, but these are some new cards that you'll be able to include. And of course it has these, uh, the light, the light colored rope. So it could be randomly added in. A lot of new good stuff. There's new, uh, whatever these were called, where you can place the guy out onto the map. There's more of those. Oh, this guy. You have to uh, have, you got to play three of those books to get them out. Interesting. The cost of playing them. The figurehead. What? Immediately score one point per ship upgrade. Wow. I like that. Oh, that's going to be so cool. And it gives you a uh, victory point income. This is my new favorite card, you guys. Look at that. Because I like to upgrade my ship as much as possible. And that card is going to be crazy <laughs> it's gonna be awesome and i think it's the only one in here but wow that's gonna be awesome all right so one new career one new um objective for in-game stuff and a solo mode all right new baggies because there's so much content <laughs> okay i'm just gonna throw everything in here and sort this out later but that is everything inside this box uh the maracaibo uprising expansion which from the looks of it looks like is one that you're going to want to pick up if you like this game and are going to play it a lot because th there's just a lot of quality of life and just new great stuff adding to the game so 
Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video. I've been Jared. Bye.